Yeah, this team stinks. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jackson. We lost to the Titans. Again. For the fourth time in a row. Power's here, and... I don't even know. I, I don't know. This team is not good. They're just not good, plain and simple. Like, there's no other way to sugarcoat it anymore. We're just not good. I am fully convinced we got lucky against the Chiefs, and that is all. So, who cares? Let's just get in the game. Let's Yeah, let's just get into this. So, the game started out about as poorly as it could have. Uh, our first possession ended with a Matt Ryan fumble. And then the Titans went down. They scored. And then we got the ball back, proceeded to do nothing with it. Then the Titans go down. They score. Make it 14-0 to zero in the first quarter. And then after that, the first quarter ends. We get a nice drive going. And we get to fourth and goal. And Frank Reich... The one time he should go for it on fourth down doesn't, and he kicks a field goal to make it 14-3. to Then the Titans go down. They get a field goal. They get the ball back. They score a touchdown to make it 24-3. to And at this point, I thought it was over, and it pretty much was. My team just gave me false hope after that because after that, the Colts scored a touchdown to make it 24-10. to at halftime, after we got a nice stop, it got lucky, got a stop that the Titans couldn't get a field goal off in time. So it was 24 to 10 at halftime. Then in the second half, we get a stop right away, get the ball back. We go down, score again to uh, Mo Ali Cox with his second touchdown to make it 24 to 17. And yeah, at this point, it looked like we had it. And then we completely shit the bed. I mean, completely. Our defense played about as good as it could have in that second half. They were making stop after stop after stop after stop after the 24 to 17 thing. And the offense turned it over or punted or missed field goals and did all that. I mean, it was ridiculous because we got the ball back when it was 24 to 17 we had a nice drive going and then matt ryan fumbled again and then cost us the drive so we had to punt and then we got the ball back in the fourth quarter with a chance to tie the game it was third and goal and jonathan taylor made a huge mistake that he normally doesn't make he fumbled the ball and gave the titans the ball <laughs> gave the Titans the ball at just it was ridiculous how that situation happened and then we got the ball back the defense got the ball back for us we drive down we get in a poor spot we decide to kick a field goal and Chase McLaughlin kicks the worst kick I've ever seen like it was worse than the Rodrigo Blankage you missed week one it was just it was terrible it wasn't even close. Never had a chance. So there's like two minutes left in the game. We still have a chance. And then the Titans do one of their stupid ass play action passes to a wide open receiver. And it ends the game and the comeback falls short. We lose 24-17. And have no one to blame but ourselves. Plain and simple. This was a game we should have won. I'm sorry, Titans fans, but this is a game we should have won. We outplayed you in every aspect in that second half. It's just our offense constantly shot itself in the foot. The defense isn't the problem. Yeah, they started out slow, but they got their shit together. It's the offense that has problems. That's that's just Colts' defenses, though. They Sometimes they struggle in the first half, then they usually get it together. The offense, though, just couldn't. I mean, they had some nice plays, like the deep shot to Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce had a nice game. He had a couple of good catches, and Jelani Woods had a nice catch, so the rookies are doing well. But I don't know, man. At this point, I don't know. I really don't know, honestly. I think 
it might be time to clean house, get a new coaching staff, and start from scratch. <sighs> Build the team around Taylor and Pittman and the rookies we got. We need a quarterback that is going to be the quarterback for more than one year because the QB carousel thing is not working. It's not just not going to work at all. And the line, the offensive line is just terrible. I don't even know what to think about that. It's just not good. And I'm, I know that I'm going to get crap for this, but the Titans didn't win this game. The Colts lost this game because the Titans couldn't do anything in the second half. We had every opportunity to win that game in the second half and then couldn't take advantage. So it's, it's on the offense, 100%. That's why we lost. The defense did their thing in the second half. I know there's going to be someone in the comment section, they allowed 24 and one half. That's great, but they didn't allow anything in the second half. That's when your offense needs to start turning up, when your defense starts to play good. And it's just, it just sucks. I mean, the offense needs to do better anyway because there's going to be games where your defense lets up 24 points. Your defense isn't always going to be good like that. Like, especially when you when you put Shaq Leonard in, in the lineup and then he gets hurt again. Like, come on, guys. The offense needs to improve. And if we're going to keep losing, can we start Sam Ellinger so our offense is at least fun to watch? I mean, because our offense isn't even fun to watch. It's, like, hard to watch is what it is. Because every once in a while we'll get a good play, but Matt Ryan, he fumbles every single game. We need to limit the turnovers. It's crazy that without these fumbles, we'd probably be 3-1. and one. Like, that's the reality, because Jacksonville kicked our ass. But the Texans game, we should have won. We beat the Chiefs, and we should have won this game. Without the turnovers, we're 3-1. and one. It's just crazy how that works. We need, we keep shooting ourselves in the foot, and that's why we're losing games. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's coaching. It has to be coaching. Because the players are talking about how they want to stop getting embarrassed, but they never go on the field and execute. Like, Frank Reich is not the coach for us. He's not a leader. He's not any of that. We need a new head coach badly. And yeah, he did beat the Chiefs last week. That's great. He gets to keep his job for the rest of the season now. But he's got to go. Like, I'm just praying that I get an Adam Schefter tweet within this week that Frank Reich has been fired. Like, because we need, we need something desperately. We need a quarterback. We need, we ha I think Matt Ryan's good, but we need a consistent quarterback. We need a quarterback that's going to be our quarterback for multiple years. We need a franchise guy. And I think we have that guy in Sam Ellinger. So hopefully he, he can develop and be the starter soon. Because we need we need a consistent starter because it's just the QB carousel is the most frustrating thing I've ever seen. Like, it doesn't work. That's not You're not going to win a Super Bowl doing that. So... Like, our talented roster is being wasted by our stupid-ass QB carousel and our stupid-ass head coach. So, something needs to be done and needs to be done soon. And that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the bell notifications and follow everything in the description box. See you guys next time. Bye.